Over the last three days, as part of a coordinated nationwide takedown, the Medicare Fraud Strike Force, a joint initiative of the Departments of Justice and Health and Human Services, comprising federal, state, and local investigators and law enforcement officials from across the country, joined with seven additional U.S. Attorney's offices in charging or unveiling charges against 243 defendants in 17 federal districts for their alleged participation in Medicare fraud schemes involving approximately $712 million. This is the largest takedown in the Strike Force's eight-year history. It is the largest criminal health care fraud takedown in the history of the Department of Justice and it adds to an already remarkable record of enforcement. The defendants charged over these last few days include doctors, patient recruiters, home health care providers, pharmacy owners, and others. They are accused of an array of serious crimes ranging from conspiracy to commit health care fraud, to wire fraud, to money laundering. They billed for equipment that wasn't provided, for care that wasn't needed, and for services that were not rendered. In one of the more egregious allegations of exploitation of both the Medicare system and vulnerable patients, the owners of a mental health facility in Miami billed for intensive psychotherapy sessions that resulted in tens of millions of dollars in reimbursements for the doctors based on treatment that was nothing more than moving patients to different locations. Several of these patients suffer from illnesses like Alzheimer's and dementia and were unable even to communicate with their supposed caregivers or therapists. Further, nearly 50 of the defendants in this takedown are charged with fraud relating to the Medicare prescription drug benefit program known as Part <coughs> D, which is the fastest growing component of the Medicare program overall. One owner of a health care provider in the Southern District of Florida received $1.6 million from Medicare Part D for prescription drugs the provider never purchased and certainly never dispensed. Another defendant, a doctor in the Eastern District of Michigan, is alleged to have prescribed unnecessary narcotic pain medications to patients in exchange for the use of their identification information to generate false billings. Patients who attempted to withdraw from the scheme were threatened with a loss of access to their prescription narcotics. Having deepened these patients' addiction, the doctors then used that addiction to keep patients bound to their scheme.